Honduras. So you might be wondering, why is the bridge on the shore? Bakit kaya nasa land yung bridge? Sinong engineer ang gumawa nito? Right? So take a look at the photo of the Chuluteca Bridge in Honduras. It was built by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in 1930. It survived many storms, providing safe connections from one side of the river to another and easy access to the riverbed below. Until Hurricane Mitch in 1998. So basically, the hurricane moved the river but it didn't move the bridge. Amen? What am I trying to say here? The bridge is basically unbreakable and unshakable. And hurricane, which is category five, cannot move the bridge, but it changed the course of the river. Amen? It the same goes through with our life right now. Before the pandemic, our mission as the bridge is to connect people in our communities to that living water before after the pandemic what happens it also changed the course of our life amen we have our own lives we have our own course however we should still remember that jesus is the ultimate bridge builder amen in Ephesians 1 verse 10 it says as a plan for the fullness of time to gather up all things in him things in heaven and things on earth so the message this morning is very short but sweet that jesus is the living water and the water of life let's be sure that our bridges are making contact with people where they are by getting in the water and the flow of the Spirit. For the bridge to fulfill its purpose, it must be in the river and connecting others to the river of life too. Amen? So you have to ask yourself, are you the Chututeca Bridge? You are unshakable, unbreakable, but when God changes your course, did you fulfill your purpose? Or you remain useless? or you remain as no use.